All right, we are on the groaning storehouse of McMillan. We're playing the doctor. Uh, we're playing a bit of a meme build. It's impossible healing doctor. We have no generator slowdown, so this match could be over in a hurry. Let's be honest, we could be we could be in a position to, to not really have much of anything. All right, we know survivors are here. <laughs> All right, we wanted to shock just to get... That Claudette's more in the open. Take the shot on her. So yeah, the idea is that we keep a big terror radius. Oh, that's awesome, they boned. I, I, hi, I, how, I, Well, that you vaulted, and I'm not really sure how. And now she's just holding W back the other way. Hi. Have a pallet here? No. All right. Hey, boil over. Awesome. Let's hook you way in the back, Claudette. Wherever that boon totem is, you're not by it. Again, we have no gen slowdown other than lullaby if they miss skill checks. <laughs> There's the person that was on this gen. Well, I guess nobody wants to go save the Claudette. She's going. Jen's before friends, guys. She's going to second stage. We got no reason to keep to not let her go to second at this point. All right. You guys want to do Jen's and not rescue her. That's up to you. <laughs> Hey, Kate. Maybe you should have sat on that gen, Kate. Maybe you shouldn't have just sat on that gen, Kate. Everybody's injured. <laughs> oh, it's the Claudette. You're not even who I thought you were. <laughs> and then she DC'd. The build is too strong and he's missing skill checks. Uh, you're going to teabag? Well, buddy, I hate to tell you, this is not going to end well for you, my friend. You're going to teabag me? Why? And again, I'm shocking you. Why are you able to vault that window? That's not landing? Is he running Calm Spirit? Maybe he's running Calm Spirit. No, he's not. Yeah, you're not getting back through the pallet, buddy. 
Teabag me. <clears throat> no. What did I do to deserve that teabag, my friend? I believe the answer was nothing. No, the sad part is, I didn't think Jeff players were poor sports, but apparently you don't fit that qualification. Hey, how about we get rid of that boon totem there, Dwight? Oh man, you saw my lullaby totem. Oh, he had lies. Yeah, you had lies. Not that it did you any good. All right. I'm gonna carry him over this way. Alright, we'll do this. <laughs> yeah, I want the Jeff. I want the Jeff, Dwight. Kate, you can go get a rescue. Yeah, how about that? How about we just do that? By Ooh. the way, five stacks of lullaby. That's a big five stacks of lullaby. <laughs> That's five stacks of lullaby, and both of them are in complete tier three. They're going to have to snap out of it before they can, well, the cake can unhook, but that's it. Oh, I forgot he had lies. Keep forgetting you had lies, buddy. Lithe means no dead hard. Hey, Jeff, I don't think Kate's going to get you. Nope. Kate is not. This is going to be the end of Dwight. Well, actually, it's not the end of Dwight. Dwight's only on second arc. Kate, where are you? Well, nowhere near here. I mean, no work on the gens. They're not getting these. They got gens done early. These kicks don't really matter. My guess is Kate's in a locker. Hey, our lullaby totem stayed up. Terrible location at all. So Kate's in a locker, right? Wouldn't that have been amazing if she'd been in that locker? That would have been 
That would have been a sight to say. No hatch offering. All right. Well. I'm like, I'm like, I heard a noise. That was where the, uh, the Claudette disconnected. Made me think there was a survivor there. All right. Still no, I mean, we got great door spawns here. If we didn't just not get distracted by dead Claudette's ghost over there. Oh. Okay, almost got. You're not getting to that door, Kate. You can run me around this wall all you want. You are not getting out. Yeah, why are you teabagging me, you imbecile? What are you teabagging me for? What a terrible, what an absolute terrible group of survivors here. What terrible sports. Oh my God. Congratulations. You ran from the door? So let's 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 talk about that. We're running. We are running by all accounts a meme build. We have unnerving presence that pretty much nobody runs unless you're doing a trapper. Uh, a trapper adept. Or occasionally you might see it run in Doctor Impossible skill check builds like this one. Uh, Colrophobia, which was recently buffed to where now skill checks when you're healing go 50% faster, plus you get the 50% penalty to healing progression speed. But again, nobody runs this unless you're running a clown adept. Uh, Sloppy Butcher, that is a pretty good perk. And not only does it make it take longer to heal, but with the hemorrhage effect, uh, you lose time with your heal progress if it gets interrupted and doctor can do that with a static blast or with a shock therapy or you know if you just get forced away from a heal that's taking a long time because the killer's coming on you all of those things all of those things uh are are, are you know sloppy's the best out of these three perks but even sloppy by itself it's far from a meta perk and huntress's lullaby which is just basically a perk that only gives you value if the totem stays up, which by some small minor miracle, it did. And we got it to five tokens, giving the survivors no skill check warning. I want to point out in a meta where gen regression and, and all of that is what survivors are complaining about, we literally have no generator regression perks whatsoever on this build. Lullaby is the only thing that will regress gens by giving it a bigger penalty whenever survivors miss a skill check. But other than that, we don't even have any gen protection in this build. The only thing we had in this build is something to keep survivors from healing quicker or just keep them from healing at all. And that's it. And how did we get pressure on in this match? Claudette, who, by the way, rage quit with a flan in the lobby on on what would have been her death hook instead of just taking her, her hook and her blood points. Claudette, you went to second stage because your three T 
teammates, altruistic as they were not, decided to sit on gens rather than come help you. We were nowhere near the hook. That's the funny part. We hooked you way on the far side of the map. We were nowhere near the hook, and none of your teammates thought it was important enough to get off a generator, because gens before friends. Uh, no, none of your teammates decided to get off a hook to try to rescue you. And yeah, at that point, your team popped two gens. We have absolutely no gen regression. You're hooked on the side. We know where all three survivors were at. We were chasing one, and the other two gens popped. We knew where all three people were at, and none of you were anywhere near a rescue. Well, of course we're going to go back and secure a second stage on Claudette. Why wouldn't we? That would just be absolutely terrible, stupid play. We'd be throwing the match if we did that. And we were able to use a really nice time shock therapy to keep Kate from getting an unhook and get a nice free hit on her. We were able to get a second hit on her. Dwight was there as well. We were able to get an injury on Dwight. And that's when things started to snowball. We started getting people injured. We got Kate up on the hook. And from that point, well, uh, the match started to go much more in our favor. Uh, the Jeff who started teabanging us for whatever reason after Claudette DC'd, poor sport Claudette, with your uh, DCing with the flan in the lobby, poor sport. Kate dying to end game, teabagging us, just a bunch of poor sports all around. You guys lost to a doctor who's a mid tier killer with zero gen slowdown. I'm not really sure why you would be excited about that, but uh, I, I don't know. Maybe work on your game instead of your tea bags, and you might do better against a meme doctor build like this. We'll take a 4K with the fun doctor anti-healing build on McMillan.